March 15th, 1956, the play destined to be the most popular of all time opened in New York City. The book and lyrics of Alan J. Lerner and the never-to-be-forgotten music of Frederick Lowe had brought George Bernard Shaw's story of the flower girl transformed into a London society lady to the hearts of the world. In London and Rome, in Tokyo, in Sweden, Mexico, Germany, and many other countries, My Fair Lady triumphed again and again. Finally, on February 6th, 1962, the most important motion picture purchase of modern times was headlined by newspapers, television, and radio. Five million paid for Fair Lady by Warners. The tremendous price paid for the film rights gave evidence of the scope envisioned by Jack Warner, who personally undertook the production. This was further supported by the announcement that Audrey Hepburn would play Eliza Doolittle. No one doubted that this was the lady for My Fair Lady. The indisputable first choice for the role of Professor Henry Higgins was Rex Harrison, the man who created the character. Eliza's irrepressible father, Alfred P. Doolittle, would be Stanley Holloway, who also created that role in the play. Wilfred Hyde White as Colonel Pickering. Gladys Cooper as Mrs. Higgins. Mona Washburn as Mrs. Pierce. Jeremy Brett as Freddy. Theodore Bickell as Sultan Karpati rounded out the distinguished cast. To direct these fabulous talents, Jack Warner unhesitatingly selected the renowned George Cukor. The original stage design had been a personal triumph for the world-famous Cecil Beaton. He was enthusiastic at the prospect of designing the motion picture version. For months, almost the entire Warner Brothers studio was devoted to the most elaborate preparation in its history. From a treasure house of silks and satins, furs and jewels, highly skilled artisans would create a world of elegance. Sets were a building as rarely seen before. Whole sections of London the grandeur and squalor of Covent Garden. The splendor of the Embassy Ballroom. The richness of Professor Higgins' study. The high fashion of Mrs. Higgins' drawing room. All these were constructed in the most particular detail. On August 13, 1963, giant Super Panavision 70 cameras began rolling on the greatest production in Warner Brothers history. A motion picture which will stand as one of the great entertainment experiences of all time. This is My Fair Lady.